Brock Jensen is our guest, number 16 for the Bison, the man that brought home and showed the way on how to win national championships. Don't get in a fight with him. He's got championship rings, and he could be wearing them that day. Uh, so you, you know from from playing quarterback all those years that, you know, getting in a flow is so important. Uh, you know, getting to that point where it's okay. Uh, you know, I'm hitting my stride here. Um, how... You know, the, the last game against Word, the Bison didn't throw the ball well. I mean, that's just flat-out fact. The numbers are the numbers. If you're mm-hmm. if you're Matt Ensa, are you looking at ways to do a little dink, a little dunk, a little just, hey, let him get his timing down, a little quick slant out, just something to to make him get some completions behind him so that that's that's off his mind. You, you know what I'm I, saying? Is that, is that ne- yeah. something you would coach? I absolutely would. You know, I'm, I'm certainly from a quarterback perspective hoping that for Cam, you know, that they, that they scheme up something early, you know, within the first few plays, whatever passing play that we, that we schemed up that we feel good about, you know, that, that he can see an easy completion, you know. Um, there was something that, there's just something to be said about, you know, taking the snap and, and completing your first ball as a quarterback. Uh, it just really builds confidence and, um, you know, you could see, you know, just an easy throw, go into the, go into your teammates' hands, and, and get a completion, and and, and uh, you know, move some move some yards, you know, early on. Let, let me let me just ask you this: the the, the personality of coaches. You, you you made an absolutely fabulous point of let quarterbacks get in the flow, let them get in the flow, let them go. That'd be a charge in the early part of the game. In in terms of coaches on a week like this. Does it really come down to the OD coordinators? I mean, does the head coach, has he pretty well done his job by the time a weekend like this comes around? Yeah, absolutely, guys. I mean, especially with the, with the extended break that uh, <clears throat> that's in between, uh, you know, the semifinal and the championship game. You know, there's several weeks uh, involved to game plan and to really feel comfortable of how you want to attack uh, you know, the team that you're facing. And, again, this is a team that we couldn't know any better, and they couldn't know us any better. So, you know, there, there's got to be, uh, you know, a wrinkle or two that, that um, you know, should be unexpected. And, uh, you know, but uh, this game is going to be won and lost in the trenches. It's going to be a hard-fought battle. I mean, the coaches have done their part, and, uh, you know, all the I's will be dotted and T's will be crossed, and now it's up to the players to just execute the plays. So as you look at this, because you do know each other so incredibly well, you know, both teams uh, sitting there, nobody getting surprised by the other. What's the difference? I mean, between these two teams, when you look at them and, and you say, all right, well, th- this is, I mean, it looks to me like the two teams mirror each other, but I want to know what you think. Yeah, I mean, especially this year, you know, a lot, the years prior, there's, there's maybe some things that you would be able to point out more than other years. But, man, we do seem like we're mirroring each other this year a lot. I mean, we play, we both play solid defense, uh, pretty solid in the kicking game and the special teams. And, you know, the offenses can, can score. So, um, again, I mean, it's going to be it's gonna be one and lost in the trenches. I think the turnover battle is going to be huge, um, you know, it's, it's one of those games, too, Joel. I mean, we've talked about it in the past, too. This is for all the marbles. You know, you can't play to lose this game. You've got to play to win. You know, and, and uh, that mentality, um, I think the Bison have, a, have an edge in because we've been there so many times and we've done it so many times. Um, but it really needs to, to be a, you know, let's go take this thing instead of, um, you know, let's just try to sit back and, and get by, you know. You look at the last game the Bison played, you know, they fell behind. It was 16-3 at some point. Uh, all of us who had watched the Bison for years looked at it and said, hey, you know, don't, don't worry about it. Hey, they're playing in the Fargo Dome. You're playing a team that doesn't know us that well. Can, can we fall behind an SDSU by a couple of touchdowns and, and still stick to the original game plan, Brock? You know, if there's one lesson I've learned in the past decade plus, Joel, it's never count out the mighty bison ever. You can't do it. <laughs> but, but to your question, I will say, if we fall behind this group, this team, SDSU, by a couple touchdowns, 
I mean, I'm never gonna say, I'm never gonna count us out, but it will certainly be uh, <laughs> not very good if that happens. Well, and, and the reason I ask that isn't uh, a doom yeah. and gloom question. It's a, hey, right. yeah. th- this this first quarter is going to matter. You know, it, we're yeah. all so yeah. used to what's happening across the NFL and the college level and things getting decided in the fourth quarter when it's actually players like that played at your level that understand that that first quarter <laughs> matters as much as that fourth yeah. quarter. And I think at times, Brock, yeah. we all just forget that. Right. Yeah, though, the start fast. Uh, the start fast, you know, philosophy has got to be uh, really uh, at the forefront of of what needs to be done and, and executed uh, this game especially. Because again, I mean, if there's any team in the whole FCS that you don't want to, you know, play from behind against, it's South Dakota State. I mean, it's it's this next game, you know. And uh, I couldn't agree more with you. You know, I mean, it, it, we, you know, the Bison have to start fast and they have to finish even stronger. Uh, so um, I, I hope the plays, the first 10 plays are usually always scripted. I hopefully we could stay on script and stay on schedule and move the ball and just be methodical and, and uh, really put points on the board in those, those uh, first couple possessions. Hey, Matt. Brock Jansen, ladies and gentlemen, last one, I promise, Brock. How, how beat up? How much does it matter when you come into this game beat up? Because you played on some teams that played in this game beat up before you got here. How big of a factor was that? Yep, it's always a big factor, um, really at any level too, Joel. I mean, at high school, college, pro, you know, the teams that 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 win the championships a lot of time are the sometimes the healthiest the healthiest teams, you know. So, um, the the beat up factor, the injury factor is a big one. Um, you know, obviously we got a couple key guys out um, and some other you know other guys that are still kind of in question as they do on their side. Um, but you know, at the end of the day. Um, you're gonna. You have a lot of prep time for all the the guys that are filling in for the injured guys, and you know they'll they'll be ready and uh, they'll be ready to cut it loose, and we'll see what happens. Rock, I got to ask you. And you mentioned third down conversions. Obviously, it made me think of the uh, nine minute drive against Kansas State. Do people talk to you about that game or national championships? I'm sure it's almost fifty fifty sometimes because yeah, I think you had <laughs> how many third down conversions in that drive? That that was kind of like a championship game in itself. Yeah, good question, Derek. Yeah. I'd probably say it is 50-50. <laughs> you know, that's probably a little bit of Kansas State. You know, that was a fun one to talk about and stuff. And, um, yeah, I think that just epitomizes, and I've said this before, that drive kind of epitomizes who we are and our style and kind of just how we play football up north in, in North Dakota and Fargo. Um, that's our identity, and we're going to need a little bit of that come Saturday. Or Sunday. Right. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, yeah, I'm I'm good. That goofed up as well, yeah. Brock. It's always good, man, yep. to talk to you. Th- thanks for answering when we call, and uh, you know we'll see you when you get down here. Okay. Hey, thanks so much, guys. Go Bison.